I'm Heather Mangieri, sports dietitian, and today we're talking all about eating for injury prevention. Now, eating for injury prevention is about choosing foods that are rich in the nutrients that support bone health and preventing fatigue. Today we're going to focus on bone health. Low bone density can lead to fragile and brittle bones, and that can set athletes up for injury, such as fractures and bone breaks. That's why focusing on building a strong skeleton is one of the best things you can do for injury prevention. There's two key nutrients involved in, in um, bone, building strong bones, calcium and vitamin D. And those are the two we're gonna focus on today. So let's start with talking about how much you need. During adolescent years, when bones are rapidly lengthening and hardening, is the highest calcium needs throughout the lifespan. Adolescents need 1,300 milligrams of calcium each day. From the age of 19 to 50, the needs for calcium drop to 1,000 milligrams a day, and then over the age of 50, they jump back up to 1,200. Vitamin D is measured in IUs, or international units. The recommendations are 600 international units per day. Now, not a lot of foods are naturally good sources of vitamin D. We can synthesize vitamin D from the sunlight when it hits our skin. But the best way to meet our calcium and vitamin D needs is to include a variety of nutrient-rich foods each day, and we're gonna talk about some ways to do that. So, dairy. Dairy is a great source of calcium, and many dairy, or many dairy sources have vitamin D as well, and milk is a good example. One cup of milk is 300 milligrams of calcium and 115 uh, IUs of vitamin D. So that's a great, great um, contribution to your daily intake. Cheese and yogurt are also great sources of calcium. And just to give you some examples here, Swiss cheese, 225 milligrams of calcium for one ounce. Cheddar's right behind it. Yogurt is a great source of calcium. Ricotta cheese is one of my favorites. A half a cup gives more than one cup of milk each day. Cottage cheese and fruit plate. Um, and again, I'm all about portable milk because I work a lot with young athletes, so I'm always teaching them how to bring stuff with them. These are all great and easy sources and ways to get calcium. Now, if you don't like dairy foods, you can still meet your calcium needs. You just have to eat a lot of greens. Um, for example, one cup of cooked spinach is about 250 milligrams of calcium, but one cup of cooked spinach is a lot. So again, focus on adding these in small amounts to the diet. If you love spinach, you're, you're, you're set. 15 shrimp, um, over 100 milligrams of calcium a day. Sardines are a great source of calcium. Um, just two ounces, 217 milligrams. They also have vitamin D and iron, another nutrient that's important in injury prevention. Beans, prunes, again, think about ways to get these in your diet. Add some greens to a smoothie or throw some spinach in an omelet. The best way to meet your needs is to eat a variety of sources each day. For more information on fueling athletes, you can visit my website at nutritioncheckup.com or the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics at eatright.org.